In today's science experiment, we are going to make dry ice bubbles. This is a visually awesome experiment. Here's what you'll need to do this experiment. First of all, when you're doing science experiment, always a good idea to have some sort of eye protection, goggles, or glasses. As the name implies, you will need some dry ice. This will need to be purchased and handled by an adult. Dry ice is incredibly cold. You cannot touch it with your bare skin, so you'll have to wear gloves or with a pair of tongs. You will also need some bubble solution, which you can purchase at the store or you can make your own at home. And then you'll want to pour that into a bowl. You'll also need some sort of material, a towel, an old cut up t-shirt that you're going to be soaking in the bubble solution. And then you'll need a container. So preferably this is a glass jar. You could use something smaller than this, a cup that you grab out of the kitchen. It just needs to be something uh, with a rim around the top of it that's smooth. This is gonna be key to making the bubbles form. And then within that, you'll just put some water. Dry ice is carbon dioxide, CO2, in its solid form. So at room temperatures, dry ice will go from its solid form directly into a gas. This is a process called sublimation. Now we can speed up this sublimation process by putting the dry ice in water. You can see what happens instantly. This looks really neat. It looks kind of like clouds or like fog, but this is the dry ice starting to sublimate. This looks like something you might see around Halloween time, one of those spooky cauldrons, or dry ice is often used on movie sets to make what looks like smoke or looks like steam or sets of mood. So this is kind of a fun part just to watch what happens when you put the dry ice into the water. So you'll take your towel or your material that you have and soak it in that bubble solution. You can squeeze it out a little bit and then you're going to take this and drag it across the top of your container to make your bubble. And watch what happens. Our bubble starts to fill up with this gas and it looks awesome. You can see kind of the different colors forming there and all of that going into the bubble. And eventually, when this gets too full, your bubble will pop. This is a visually really cool experiment and a great way to talk about the process of sublimation. And you can do this over and over and over again. You've probably got more dry ice. You can keep adding dry ice into the water and keep making more bubbles. I hope that you have enjoyed this experiment and maybe you'll try this at home. For TMJ4 News, I'm meteorologist Kristen Kershane.